Hi everyone, this is Connie's Creative Creations and I am Connie. Welcome to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I hope you think about hitting that subscribe button, give me the notification bell, click on it, it'll open up a little drop down menu click on the all you'll be notified every time i upload a video and if you are returning welcome back and don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up leave me comments if you'd like i love to read them and i love to comment back i'm taking part in a collaboration today and we'll get to more of that information in just a couple of minutes but first let's get right into these projects Okay, this is actually the five under five uh, challenge. And so you are to make five projects. Each one needs to be under $5. And I did amazing this time. I couldn't believe it. So I just took some Dollar Tree popsicle sticks and I used maybe a package. Not, no, it wasn't even a full package. And I got these last year when they were only a dollar. So this is going to be less than a dollar for these three little... Well, it's going to hang together. So I'm just making like a little palette. And I'm using um, and Waverly's Antiquing Wax on them. Then I did uh, cut some stuff out of my Cricut. And this is going to be a wreath. And I'm going to put a wreath on each one of these and um it's just holly bear holly leaves and holly berries and then i'm going to put three words in the center of each one then i'm going to take um white and red and uh baker's twine from the dollar tree and the pops the craft sticks is all from the dollar tree as well I'm going to be hanging them all together. So I'm just um, getting these letter, the words ready. One is peace, one is joy, and one is Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to hang these all together. And then this project is going to be done. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. I did use um, Mod Podge on it to seal down that uh, vinyl just because it sometimes comes up. And I'm also making... Um, some three little uh, shoestring bows for the top of each wreath and I'm using the red and black check um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree and if you've noticed this is Christmas the, that is the theme for the this uh, um, challenge okay that was 55 cents now let's get to this information Okay, so it's the five under five. The hosts are Emily and Missy, and Emily is from the Farm Charm Chic, and Missy is from the Crafty Cove. And then um, their guest host is Krista, and she's from Christie's Crafty Life. Now, this is a challenge I love to do. Um, they've been doing it for over a year now. So now let's get back into these projects. This one is going to be some little ornaments. And there's going to be three of them. And I have got a bunch of the calendars from last year and a couple from this year. And I just went into the Christmas one and I cut each one out. Now I ended up cutting, I cut four, but I ended up only making three. Um... I don't know why, but that's just how, what happened. I missed, put it off to the side and didn't see it and only made three. So I'm just using my uh, Fisker uh, cutter and I'm just cutting them down. And then I'm gluing these um, tumbling towers blocks together. Two on top, two on bottom, and one in between. And I used um, some white f uh, foam core from the Dollar Tree. And that is the backer for the paper. So I am just gluing these together. And once I get the three done, then I'm going to put the uh, glue the paper on each one of the foam core after I make sure it's the right size. And I'm just going to glue them on. Then I'm going to use, um, I think I use jute, but I might have used the baker's twine to hang these up. I just put a loop on each one of them. And then this project's done. I didn't even paint those tumbling towers. 
I thought about it. I could have done them white. I could have done them red. I could have done antiquing wax. But, okay, yes, I did use uh, the red and white Baker's Twine. The same twine I used for the first one. So, well, you'll see here in a second about how much this costed. It was next to nothing because a box of tumbling towers is 72 little blocks and I only use six for each one and six times three is 18. So yeah, I didn't use very many. So it was very, very cheap. Plus the little calendar and all that's very cheap. So I put 35 cents on this one. So now let's get to the third one. Okay, this is a piece of wood from my uh, go my garage, and I am just um, I just sanded it, and now I've got the little blocks from the Dollar Tree. I only end up using not even half of the package. The package was a dollar twenty-five, so I didn't even use half the package, and I am just putting those on, just gluing them on in the shape of. Uh, a Christmas tree. So it was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17. 16 and plus the trunk. So 17 um, little blocks and not even a half of the box um, of the package. Then I grabbed um, some buttons from a button uh, jar from the Dollar Tree which I got these last year. They were, it was a dollar and I only used uh, 16 of them. So very, very cheap. Plus, especially since how there's a whole, there's like 50 of them or more inside this um, jar. And I'm just grabbing the small ones and I'm trying to get a variety of colors. Then once this is done, I am going to grab a bunch of lace and uh, ribbon from my um, stash and I'm just going to make a best a messy bow at the top like it is um, the star or something but it's it's just a, a bow on the top so I'm just going to grab put all these buttons or move these buttons and then I'm going to um, go ahead and make the uh, the bow plus the bow ends up with two um, buttons in it one big one and one large one in the center so that it it the, you know goes along with the theme so now let's go ahead and get the this get to the next part I, of course i'm still looking for buttons i need to get the small ones i'm trying not to do too many of the same color too close together so that it, it didn't look funny okay so here is i've got uh, orange grow grain, blue grow grain, red with white dot grow grain. I've got some um, silk ribbons and a bunch of different kinds of lace. Some of these I've had for years and years and years. And some of them I haven't had for very long. But <clears throat> I think only one of them. The blue one I purchased at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I'm only using about six inches <clears throat> excuse me that orange I got at the thrift store and it was a huge roll and it was only 50 cents and I used about six inches and I'm just using a small piece of jute um, that came off of something to tie this together and then I um, put I'm going to glue this on and then I'm going to trim the uh, each one of them up so that it doesn't look too messy. I mean, it's a messy bow, but I don't want it hanging really low or anything. So I'm just making sure that it, it fits and doesn't look odd. And then that's when I realized I want to do uh, the buttons. And so I grab my button jar again, and I go ahead and grab a large pink button. And then I think a little a white or a light no a light pink or yeah it's a light pink bow and then this project's done 75 cents that's it so great deal now let's get to this one okay so i took six tumbling towers blocks which is not very much money i'm making i'm painting three with the um waverly's crimson and then i paint two with the folk art 
um, Adirondack. I'm doing painting every all the sides, so all six sides. And then I'm grab out of my stash some little hook eyes, but they're little circle eyes. Um, I've had them for years. I'm just going to screw them right into the end. Then we're going to take that red and white Baker's twine again, and I'm going to um, thread on uh, four beads on each one. Now, these beads came in a huge package, so cents, just cents, very small amount. And I'm writing with white Adirondack uh, paint on each one of these Christmas sayings. So um, we're just going to like mistletoe, peace, joy, merry, can't remember the other one. But you'll be able to see them, hopefully, because this is really small on my screen anyway. So I'm just going to put those in there. Once they're done, I'm going to put that eye in there, grab that baker's twine, put the beads on it, and this project's going to be done. It was very easy, easy. All these projects are super easy to do. So here I am. I'm just, you can see I'm just screwing those in. I'm sorry I'm out of... Uh, the uh, shot um, I pull it towards myself and I don't realize that my camera is not pushed far enough and I keep thinking it is and then it's not so sorry about that but I am that is what I'm doing I am just screwing those in to the ends the wood is very soft it went in really easy I didn't have to worry about drilling anything into it so here I am I put a little bit of hot glue on the end of oh wait no I used a darning needle and I um, just am going to uh, do red, white, red and white. So uh, three, or no, two, two white, two red. That's all I did. So four. So, and I'm just going to tie those on and this project's going to be done. And it's such a cute, simple little project. Now, the only thing that I made a mistake on is I didn't make a loop for it to hang. Hmm. So. I may have to go back in and, and do something with that so that it will hang on the Christmas tree. Right now, they just look like little flags or something. But um, I will be taking care of that. I ran it through the, the um, beads, and then I ran it um, around one bead and back through the rest of the beads. So there is a loop out there on the end, so I can thread a... a a needle through that and make a loop so that's what I'll probably end up doing but these ended up turning out so cute I just absolutely love them so let's find out how much I spent or how much I figured I spent which wasn't very much and I hope you guys really like all these so it was 20 I'm saying 25 cents it's probably less than that so now this is the third one this is the most expensive one so I um, am taking some uh, paint stir sticks now I bought the package for a dollar from Home Depot and I am using not even um, maybe half of them I can't remember let's see there's one two three four five six six so I use half of them no there was ten in the package so I'm using six of them so there's four left over I'm using Dollar Tree wood glue and hot glue and I'm hooking these together side by side then I'm going to turn them over and use some of those small popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree just to make sure that this is really good and, and put together and I use the uh, the um, wood glue to get the good adhere adhesion because on the molecular level the glue is stronger than the wood if you put it against bare wood to bare wood um, that is where it's the strongest and I'm putting the hot glue just to get the um, the quick hold but the uh, the wood glue is the, the, be the best bond for wood to wood so I'm getting that on there then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put these uh, um, popsicle sticks and I'm doing the same thing with the um, wood glue and the hot glue and I am putting I think I do four on this just to make sure that it is completely together and just awesome yeah 
So then once we do that, I'm going to turn this back over and um, I'm going to be using uh, antiquing wax again and I'm just going to antique wax the whole thing. I think that's what I do. I'm pretty sure that's what I do. It's been a, a, a bit since I did this one. Actually, I put five on here, didn't I? Yes, I did. I put five on there instead of four. Okay, so here, let's see. I'm going to grab my antiquing wax, and I'm going to antique wax this whole thing. And then we're going to move on. I Yes. Is that antiquing wax? Yes, it is. So... I just paint it on and then I use a paper towel and I rub it back off and you end up getting the most beautiful wood wood grain that shows up. So here I Okay. So it looks really, really dark at first, but once I get started it, it looks amazing. And this project is probably one of my favorite ones. Um I love this. I love the way the wood ended up looking. And of course, it's um, the most expensive one, but it's under a dollar. Because remember, we used um, the uh, paint stir sticks and it was uh, probably 60 cents. Maybe. Yeah. Or 55 cents, actually. Probably about 55 cents on it and then the rest of the stuff was not that expensive um i'm using half a package of um uh well these are all stuff i've had for years um but okay so i use a little bit of um uh felt that i've had for years or no 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 no, I use a little bit of a, a, a towel, and I've had that from the Dollar Tree for several years, and I only used a little strip, and then I'm using those um, eyeballs, um, those was gifted to me, didn't pay for them, so that's free, and then um, I use the uh, pine, like the um, tree pine uh, stir sticks, I use one of them and 12 comes in a package and I got that two years ago and it was only a dollar so 10 cents maybe so this whole thing it ends up being I think like 75 cents and that's it so let's go ahead and watch this and see what I end up doing actually I forgot I didn't use a towel I actually used a little bit of batting that I've literally had for 10 years I had some and I had a little bit, a little strip, and that's what I used down. I'm making, uh, like, um, snow on the bottom of this uh, sign. And so I'm using batting. And that was in my, yeah, I had it for years. So I don't even know how much I paid for it back then. Okay, I'm taking that uh, little pine uh, twist tie, and I'm just fitting it on here. I end up having to cut a little bit of it off. I'm just gluing it right down and then um, I do use a white scatter star from the Dollar Tree but it's like two cents because you get a big bag for a dollar twenty-five so yeah it wasn't very much money and then I'm going to uh, once I get that done then I'm going to take uh, oh, what am I doing <sighs> I can't remember. Oh, I've got these little uh, balls, the little um, felt balls, and uh, or pom poms. That's what it was. I've had them for years, and I'm just going to be painting them on, or not painting, gluing them onto the bottom so it looks like uh, snow balls that's around the bottom of this very, very, very skinny tree. And then with those other balls, the um, eyes, I mean, I'm just going to glue six of them onto this and um, we're going to make three little snowmans. Then for the top one, I'm going to put a top hat on and I am going to um, use the, uh... oh, 
oh boy, I just lost the words. I'm going to use part of a roll that comes with the deco mesh, and then I've got some uh, grayish brown or grayish black, really dark gray felt. I've got a little tiny piece of it, and I'm just going to wrap it around and make a little hat, and then I'll just paint on the uh, the the snowman uh, features, which is extremely. Uh, um, easy to do and it's not hard and this came out so cute and as you can see I'm making this little hat super super easy to make I really enjoyed it I did not put the pom-poms on there yet I don't think I don't see them but a little bit of the uh, thing is out of um, the screen so I'm not sure but I thought I was doing it I just can't see them from where we are at right now and like I said, I just used a little bit of hot glue and I hooked that felt on it and made the brim and made the brim and the back flat so that it would fit on there. And then that was done. And then I'm going to take black and orange paint and I'm just going to paint the, um, the little snowman. And then it's done. It's totally done. Except for I grab three little pieces of... Uh, ribbon and I tie them around their necks and I trim off the end so that it looks proper or good and that's it and this project's done don't forget to go down to the description box down there is going to be all the hosts guest hosts their uh, channel links as well as the playlist link some other information I am an affiliate to um, plaid which does the Waverly the folk art apple barrel a lot of others uh, Mod Podge, all those, and I just love to do all these different, I love this playlist, it's the, like I said, it's the five under five, you want to do five projects under five dollars, end up being adorable, I love this, and I hope you guys really enjoy all of these as well, and I end up using um, the Dollar Tree orange and white gingham and the black and white gingham and um yeah just like two inches inch and a half or so maybe two inches on each one of them was not a big deal and then this project's done oh i do one other thing i do grab some mod podge sparkle and i paint all of the wood so it sparkles now afterwards in hindsight i probably should have painted the background a blue so it looked like it was night that's okay. I love it anyway. And then I end up, I think, putting a, a twine on it to hang it up. And then it's done. So please, don't forget to check out all the other uh, re creators on this what playlist. It's going to be amazing. It's, almost, it's always an amazing playlist. Um, and I hope you guys have liked all of these projects. I absolutely adore them. Um, I think they turned out so cute. I know we're doing Christmas. I know it's October, but yeah, I just, this is fine with me. I absolutely enjoy doing this. And you can see now where those little pom-poms are for the snow around the bottom of the tree. And it worked out. It's, it's amazing. So I know I keep saying that, but I just hope you guys like these all. And here is the final. As you can see, it was 75 cents. So let's show the reveal of all these different projects like i said i hope you just love them and because i sure do love them a lot all right you guys have the most blessed week and don't forget to call somebody and tell them you love them because you guess what it might be the exact thing they need to hear today they may be struggling and they may need to hear this and you guys also don't forget to be the bible that somebody reads today Bye.